So, I'm going to bring in a vehicle from the factory. Now, how to do that? Press tab and go to this button right here where it says blueprints. Once blueprints is open, I go to the library. Now, this button is for all of them. This is for just capital vessels. This one's for small vessels. These two can go to space. This one, the hover vessel, cannot. Base can be for a base in space or a base on the ground. Stock is what comes with the game. Workshop is from the Steam Workshop. And Own is the ones that you make solo. So we're going to do solo, upper vessel, and we're going to do the Miner Go Mini. This is what I made. It doesn't cost a lot of resources, as you can tell. Add this to the factory. But all I need to do is first, I don't need these blocks anymore, so I'm just dump these in here. So yeah, it'll take components, it'll take blocks, whatever, as long as it meets the quota for the amount of equivalent resources. Go in here and grab silicon, iron, carbon substrate, all that, copper, need exactly 90, got it, silicon, and now we're good, iron, about 63 in there, and about 100, and five so we'll start production now normally it takes time to build it only because i have it turned off i have it where it's instantaneous so now when it's completed it'll show up in blueprints under completed i can click spawn and here we go now this one this one's similar to what i just built the only difference is Got a giant ass drill on the front. We're gonna use that to drill underground. Go over to my new hover vehicle over here. Hop in, press P, and go over to fuel. Drop that in. It's Y to turn it on. And here we go. There's this nice spot right here underneath the beach. We're going to test this out. Now I have encumbrance turned off. We're having too much resources. Cause I don't have enough container extensions on this particular model. But just for showcase purposes, that's why we're doing it this way. And remember, rock is always good. Reason is, you can use rock to make any of your basic resources. All right, now that we are this far, the next thing I'm going to do is go into space, learn navigation, and I'll show you where to get the quickest jump drive and pentaxid tank for your small vessel. Well, we're going to pick a small vessel ship to quickly build all right one of the cheapest ones we got so we're going to go up here to blueprints we're going to go to small vessel we're going to go to stock which comes with the game and the one we are going to pick is one of the cheaper ones the cobalt moon okay so got our iron in there Copper, silicon, good there, and we have carbon substrate. That's good. Just for the sake of inventory space, we're going to put these back. We don't need these right now. Grab these. Ah, so I made these minigun turrets. Show you why. Need these O2 bottles. These back. Put 
Press tab, go back to the factory. I'm going to do start production because I have enough resources. And up here it's completed. I'm going to spawn. So the reason I put the minigun turrets on my toolbar is press 4 because that's my multi-tool. I'm going to retrieve blocks. Or I can just salvage. So this right here. Don't need that. And I don't need this wing either. It's just decoration. I don't want it. What I want to do is put minigun turrets on the side. Boom. One on that side and one on this side. Now, before we head out on our mission, there's one thing that we want. So under devices, you want to make a couple cores. I usually do about three. Uh, because in order to retrieve blocks and looted items you need to have a core down to do it and there's a reason for this and once we get to space i'll reveal that reason for you this is going to make things so much easier for you traversing the cosmos all right we're going to get into the small vessel I'm going to turn the power on turn the lights on i'm going to go over here to oxygen Manage. Take these O2 bottles. Drop it in there. Boom. Three of them filled it up to 94%. Back. Turn on oxygen. It's going to pull from this. So it's basically filling the cabin where I'm sitting in the pilot seat with oxygen. Next, I'm going to devices back to the container controller for ammo. And I'm going to put this extra ammunition in here. Now we are good to go to space. So, as you could tell, over here in Maine, it shows shield. We don't have shields yet. That's that's something you can make later and add on. Uh, we won't be getting to that. I'm just going to take you guys to the point of warping out of the system and navigation. So, press the space bar to lift up. You use your mouse to look around. Uh, Q... E on the keyboard, tilt your vehicle left and right, W is forward, S is backwards, A is strafe left, E is strafe right. All right, so now we are going to go, see that's Maspiron, uh, but as you can see we have up in the upper left of this Light panel, we got orbit and ground. Shows how high up we are and how close we are to orbit, how close we are to the ground. Over on the right hand side, you'll see speed and max. So in atmosphere, your max speed is 70 meters per second. So we are going to do upwards. If you press V, you can see a third person view. And here we go. We are now into space. As you can see, unlike Starfield, you you can go from the ground to space without a load screen. If you press uh, left alt, you can look completely all the way around your ship. 80, press V to go back to the cockpit look. So over here is Ningus. This is the snow planet. Uh, this is Akua. This is more of like the Earth type planet. Then over here is Skillon. This is the basically the nuclear fallout desert planet. Very radioactive. And then you got Maspiron, which is a toxic planet. Each one has different resources. If you press M on the keyboard, it'll bring up your uh, map and you can then go to system over here. This is the system you're in. So you're in the Elyon system. There's the planet Sienna, Omicron, 
Ubion, Simos. These two have moons. This is crown. We're in crown right now. They have these four planets here. And then you have an asteroid field. You can travel to all these. Now, if I press info panel over here to the side, it'll bring up all this. Tells you your distance from all the sectors in here. Uh, oh, up here next to this Jupiter ring looking planet, you can click this and it tells you what resources you can expect to find. So here you're expected to find ice in this system. Over here, it's ice promethium, which is a fuel source. Here, the asteroids you'll find floating around will be cobalt, copper, silicon, iron, promethium, and ice. So in the asteroid field, you'll get a little bit more different resources. Magnesium, which can be used to make explosive rounds. Promethium, silicon, copper, iron, your basics. Cobalt, neodymium, and titanium, along with ice. So we'll want to visit that when we can warp to it. So first, we're going to head into this asteroid field up here because I'm going to show you where to get a warp drive without having to build one. So you got all these little question marks over here. So you'll want to go all the way up to these to discover what they are. Now, anything can happen in these asteroid fields. It's all random, even though it's procedurally generated. You never know what type of encounter you may run into. You may run into uh, drones that come and attack you. Uh, Xerax Empire may attack you. Pirates may attack you. All right, so while we are flying into this asteroid field, if you're holding down W and you press left control, you notice on the right hand side, there's a little bar that goes all the way up to the 100% mark. That's cruise control. So you can do other things while you're flying and it's very handy. Now, if you want to turn it off, just hold down W and it turns off. So attention, unknown signatures detected. So we are about to experience a little bit of combat here. Which reminds me, we may want to go to, over to devices and under bridge, I'm gonna access this and move your meat burgers over so they don't go bad in your be bad. That's our that's our food. So here we are going to use our detector. There's a derelict station. Ooh, and there's a destroyed transport. So there's a derelict station here. Now, in this station, there is actually a teleporter that'll take you right to another planet. Omicron, which is our ultimate objective, so you can either teleport or you can do it a different way. So there's a drone. Let's see, it's coming at us. It's a laser drone. It's already taken out. Thanks to my handy dandy mini guns, I didn't have to shoot at it. So, if you're not paying attention, mini guns will pay attention for you. So, while you're in space, you can just press F to get out. See, you can float around. Your ship's not going to go anywhere. These usually drop some loot, so you can press F to access it. Fuel packs, those are nice to have. Nanotubes and capacitor devices. It's some good resources there to build certain items Get back in your ship. So now we're going to detect and go towards that transport right here. This destroyed transport. This was my objective. As you can see, this transport, I mean, if you brought a bunch of resources with you, I'm sure you could like limp it back to base on Akua and fix it up. But for our purposes, we are going to do something else. Hop out. 
and we're going to press tab and I'm going to swap out this anti-radiation stuff for my core. I'm going to put a core on here. As you can see, if it's red, it means there's already an existing core. So what you need to do, launch your gun, go find the core. Which is right here. And finish it off the sniper rifle. And now, we put our core on it. So what this does, allows us to access anything on here. So here we go. We're going to go to our multi-tool. And we're not going to do salvage. We're going to go retrieve. Retrieve blocks. Hold this. There we go. Short range warp drive. So we press tab. Boom. There it is. But you can't do anything with just that. You need this. This Pentaxa tank. You want that too. Very, very handy. And while we're here, you want to press P to access the uh, ship main. It's got no fuel, so we won't be taking any fuel from this. And we are too cold, so we need to get back to our ship. So, next step is finding ourselves what's called Pentaxid, which is the fuel that we use to jump. I know for a fact there is Pentaxid on Maspiron. So, ideally, you'll want to hit all four of these planets to just get some basic resources. You'll want Neodium uh, from Skillen, along with Prometheum. On Maspiron, you're going to want the Pentaxid for your jump drive. And on Ningus, you're going to need the Cobalt so you can make the uh, portable constructor for your small vessel. And here we go. We're going to Maspiron. All right. Now, we are only here to find Pentaxid, and then we're going to get the heck out of here. Grab some Cobalt from Ningus. There's Pentaxid. So, chances are you'll find Pentaxid, I'll show you on the map, near an enemy stronghold. Because it's a rare resource that's used for space travel, you'll always find these guys near it. So... That being said, it's only a small amount, but that's okay. So we are going to land here and mine some of it. As you can see, I had to dig myself out. Now, I'm right next to my ship. Okay. So we got our Pentaxid. We have no other reason to be here on this planet. We are gone. All right. We're going to do a fly over to Ningus. Grab our cobalt. All right. We got some resources down here. Let's figure out what these are. This might be cobalt in a mountain. Yep. Here's some cobalt. Small amount, but that's okay. Now remember, it's very cold here, so you can freeze to death. Whatever you do, you want to make it quick, unless you have an EVA booster pain. Alright, we got one last stop before we go back to Akua. And here we are on Skillin. Just here for some Prometheum. See, there's three nodes of Prometheum. We just need to find one. One node of Prometheum. Get some of that and go. Be used for our power source. Actually, Neodium. We'll need Neodium. Neodium is good.
Alright, got our neodium. Okay, so if you come across these refuse pile, there's some decent stuff that you might be able to find in here. The components, so go ahead and stop and grab those. And these guys, they drop resources. Go ahead and shoot those. So instead of food, you get resources. Why not? Promethium. So usually anywhere you see those cannon drones is usually a useful resource. So the shitty part about some of the, prom the Promethium small deposits is it's going to be one little tiny ass or a couple of these tiny asteroids here. Well, I'm not going to sit here and dig all day. I found the one little piece that's enough. I'll use trees for other power. So, we'll be all right. Got the neodium. We are going to head back to Kua and go from there. As you can see where we marked our base, we'll have to fly to that side of the planet. It makes it a lot easier when you're re-entering atmosphere. You can re-enter where your base is at saves you a lot of time. All right, so our base here looks to still have some power. Next thing we're going to do is put all these resources in here. We need to use the constructor. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make this drill. This drill is a mining drill. Makes things so much easier than the multi-tool. And for these uh, hand drills, you're going to want drill charges. Let's see how much promethium we can get from this. Meantime, we'll do a mobile constructor. We can build one now. The other thing we were missing was cobalt. Now we have cobalt. It's good there. All right. Now we are going to make some drill charges. Takes Promethean pellets. We'll just do 10 drill charges. There's a reason why I'm doing the mobile constructor, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'm going to take the survival tool right here. Bring our drill. We got no ammo for it yet. However, we're going to come out here, modify our ship slightly. Taxi tank on there. I mean, this is not going to look pretty, but it's it's going to function. So we're going to wait to put the warp drive on until we get to space. Essentially, I'm going to put it underneath here. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to need refined pentaxid to turn the promethium pellets two fuel packs so while that is going put this mobile constructor on it's gonna look like crap 
but it's going to function. So the purpose of this mobile constructor is I'm going to need you're going to need cargo containers. So make sure to make some. You should pick the one with the highest capacity. One and two. But devices, I'm going to re-auto group these. Change this to input. Change this to output. So basically, I'll be able to make all of this stuff on the fly. So if I'm mining in space, I should be able to make anything that's listed in here. But to show you the difference with this, see that node, remember how long it took us? Almost instantaneous. This is going to make things so much faster for you. All right, so I got plenty of resources and stuff now. I am going to take all of this stuff. I'll leave these. Now, I'm going to move everything to my ship to the input. Add it. I have the tank. We're filling that up. Fuel. Up with fuel. All right, we're going to put all of our food and medicine in the fridge in our ship. And say goodbye for now to this planet. Take our survival tent with us because uh, we do have a cloning chamber here. So. Something happens. This is definitely the base to uh, come back to. Being said, turn the power off. Nothing special we're leaving behind. Thrusters. Turret. And away we go. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Bye, Akua, for one last time for a moment. And uh, this looks really good. That's all right. It's allowed to look ghetto. This is just a temporary ship. So once we come to a stop, hop out. Bring that warp drive down. Ta-da. Doesn't have to look pretty. But for now, this is what it looks like. And now, ladies and gents, boys and girls, everyone, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Press M. We are not going to just go to the systems map. We're going to go to the galaxy map. Now, when you jump with a warp drive on a capital ship, these are all the systems you can jump to. And when I tell you it's infinite, it is infinite. There's so many that you can jump to. And each one has planets and stuff. That being said, 
we are going to jump to Omicron. Block the target. There it is. All you got to do is fly towards it. Get to full speed up there in that corner. And press K. And we have jumped. Omicron Control Station. Here we go. All right. Now that is the end of the tutorial for the vanilla version. And uh, coming soon will be the tutorial for Reforged Eden. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.